We're up close to 40% for this year. Stuff they do on Friday when it was pouring rain. Mini skidster. Most stuff over there. It's one of the ones he's working on. There's another one he's working on back there. Story of life, you're always fixing stuff. Woo, let's do this. I'm in the shop in Illinois. So we're here for my wife because she does birth phot photography and videography. She's freaking so passionate about it. And that's really not even like the, the coolest stuff she does. She's a doula. She's she's so, so much. My, my wife's incredible. So we're here for one of her last clients before we go back to Florida. That's why I've been here. It sounds like it's kind of coming down to the wire now and we are about to be headed back and I'm fixing some things on the motorhome. I'm looking around the shop, but this time has been so awesome because we've really been able to focus on some of the things in the shop that needed to be done, some of the things that need to be fixed, I'm starting to clean up the break room, starting to get some stuff for like Todd. He's my best friend who's also our mechanic, so he's went out on his own now. He's got his own mechanic shop and he actually does it right out of our shop, which is freaking awesome. Like I love people starting businesses. Yeah, if you can handle the pressure, the stress, and always have answers, like you should start a business. If you find yourself as an employer and in a position where you're employed and you always struggle at knowing what to do or how to figure out how to get through a bad, tough situation, you probably shouldn't start a business because that's like every day, figure out the problem, figure out the problem. I'm in the back shop, it's kind of messy. We've been organizing. You know, Todd's got his little projects. There's one of our mowers. That's one of the ones he's working on. There's another one he's working on back there. Here's another one of ours. And we've been moving this around. The motorhome's hooked up. That's what the big water leak was. But um, back when I worked at a body shop, I bought tire machines. Todd's got these. He is hammering on. We, we cleaned out this area so he's able to do all his tire work back here. So I, I know all you mow guys, anybody with trailers and trucks, you know how often tires are an issue. So now, He's here taking care of that. There's his toolboxes. And we're gonna facilitate and make this whole back shop. We're gonna leave it organized with all of our stuff. You may say it's not organized. I don't know, it's it's getting better. There's there's a little bit of stuff everywhere. We're going to really make the floor of the shop. There's a truck he's working on, not one of ours. We're gonna make the floor of the shop his for his mechanic area. We are finding out how much it's gonna be to buy this place. This place, the shop and the whole yard comes with this over here. And so all these things are cool because this is all happening because I'm back and I'm I'm working on kind of like figuring out what we're gonna do, you know? How, what it's gonna take to buy this. And I'll do like a little shop tour video, I guess. There's the motorhome hooked up, the uh, jackknife the trailer. And broke the ladder, we need a new ladder. I just put a new water pump in it. Story of life, you're always fixing stuff. This is back of the shop, fuel. If you have a shop and you've got to the point of having a shop, Fuel is a necessity. You gotta have fuel tanks. At least gas. Back here's diesel. Here's a lot of our Mo stuff. It sits out. Everything's cabled down and secured. We walk up the hill. If any of you watched like shop tour before, but I haven't been here. So this is what this is how this has been going without me here. Um, how clean they've been keeping it. How organized they've been keeping it. One of our big landscape trucks. This is a truck that I lease. Here's one of the trailers. Some stuff they did on Friday when it was pouring rain. Mini skidster. We always dump all our rock that we take out of landscape beds in these areas because the mud at a landscape shop is just constant. You can't find enough rock to cover it up. So we always utilize, you can see, all, all, all that's landscape rock. Here's kind of our bone yard. It's building up a little bit. We've been doing a lot of big projects. Our head sales person, she sold close to 350,000 so far this year. You know, we keep all these Unilock half stone pavers in stock for edging, you know, pallets of those. A lot of sandstone, a lot of limestone edging. We have been talking about getting a dirt sifter. We, I want to, I'm just, sorry, hit the camera. I don't really like to buy stuff too fast. I like to really, really need it, just like our second mini skidster before we bite the bullet and do it. There's the dirt pile, massive. Lines of trucks, dump trailers, that's like where we keep landscape stuff right here. Most stuff over there. One of the other big things, these these bins aren't really big enough and they don't dump far enough into them. It's really, now looking at this, it's that this truck driver didn't back up far enough, but we're starting to keep bulk, oh, I didn't point it right. Bulk CA7 for building walls, patios, everything. So we've got that on hand. If we have the machine here to load it, if not, it's all about what's fastest because if you're waiting around trying to load this or you're loading in a slow, inefficient manner, like man hours are so costly that it can be just as just as effective, cost effective to buy it next door. Also, semi loads of mulch. I think we're probably on our fourth one so far this year. Here's where we keep some of our brush. Before any day it rains, like this pile was 
you couldn't even see over there the other day and then it rained and we just haul it all out with all of our equipment concrete pile pavers everything we tear out we haul that all to the recycler i'm not 100 percent sure why it even gets dumped here because the recycler is open like 24 7. huge old grain truck it may completely get taken out of service or we may fix it take down the take off these sides and put some real short wood sides along with that truck and trailer over there so i keep hitting the camera that one we're going to take that sides off that and we're going to do wood sides on that too so kind of an update of what's going on in the shop how the shop's going without me here how all the things are cranking around they're keeping this place looking pretty good and the sales have been jamming so far we're up close to 40 percent for this year going to be shooting for like 110 percent by the end of the year that's the goal so we got to keep ramming we got to keep jamming and get this thing blown up keep creating opportunity you guys like the little tour the little catch up of the shop let me know what you've got you starting out you got a shop do you never want all this never want all this responsibility do you want all this you want all this responsibility this kind of responsibility this kind of overhead this kind of things around you is really what pushes you to grow because you got to step up and make it happen so stay uncomfortable everybody see you soon